Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I wanted to give you my favorite strategies for getting your liver to start burning fat for you again. So we keep hearing so much from you guys that have tried keto, you've tried fasting, and you're getting stuck, and you're trying to figure out what you can do to unstick yourself. Well, your liver is your major fat burning organ, and there are some very specific lifestyle behaviors that you need to be implementing. There are some hacks that you can be implementing that don't cost any money um, so that your body starts burning fat again. The liver is crucial to your weight loss efforts, and I'm super excited on this video to share it with you. Get a pen and paper, write out all the steps that I say here so that you have your own personal checklist and you can decide which one of these steps is gonna be best for you. And as always, if you love this video, please share it out, subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to give you guys some really specific science-based uh, evidence that will allow you to drive your health in whatever direction you choose. And on this one, I'm super excited to show you about the liver and my favorite hacks. So enjoy. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I wanna to talk to you guys today about weight loss and how your liver will either contribute to your weight loss effort to make it easy for you, or your liver can actually stall your weight loss efforts. So one of my concerns right now is we're getting a lot of messages from you guys that you're in quarantine, you're gaining weight more than ever before, maybe because of stress, maybe because of a more sedentary lifestyle. So I wanted to give you guys a series of videos that are gonna help you understand where weight loss comes from and how you can actually, even at this point in time, how you can make some really smart, take some really smart steps to make weight loss much easier for you. Um, so sit tight, I got science for you because that's what I love to bring you is not only the practical, but I also wanna show you what science is doing. I also wanted to let you guys know that I am starting a metabolic reset, a 15 day experience mixed with education of keto and fasting. That will start on May 11th. So if you wanna join me in that experience, just put metabolic reset. But here we go, okay? so. Two things to realize, well, really the first thing to realize is that your liver is one of the primary fat burning organs that you have. So keeping your liver healthy is imperative for your fat loss adventures, okay? Second thing is that there are, one of the challenges that we see in the ketogenic and the fasting movement is that so many of the things you did with your lifestyle years ago, the way you ate, the, the lack of fasting, all the things, the toxins you were exposed to have damaged your liver and not made that liver a very efficient fat burning organ. And so then you come to keto and fasting and you struggle because it's the liver that is actually at the core root of your uh, problem of your fat loss efforts. Okay, so, and when we dive into the liver and we look at the liver specifically, what is getting damaged are the mitochondria. So you guys have heard me say this before, that one of my concerns is that the mitochondria are getting damaged in our whole body, but nowhere is it affecting our weight loss efforts more than if it gets damaged in the liver. So let's start off with this idea. Before I go into my steps, let's start off with this idea. What damages the mitochondria of your liver? And there are some very specific things, again, based off of research. So. One of the studies I found just right off the bat when I was looking to put this together for you guys this morning is that there is a, a study showing that a high fructose diet is worse for your liver, worse for your, your for weight gain and obesity than even calories, which hopefully you know now that calories are not, a, won't always mean that you gain weight. But they, the study showed that the reason that the high fructose diet is so bad is that it will shut your liver metabolism down and, and make it very difficult to burn fat. So we want, first off, you got to make sure that you're avoiding all high fructose uh, sugars. So it's pretty much high fructose corn syrup. You're, you're finding those in sodas, candy, um, cakes, all the processed foods, canned fruit. 
um, juices, salad dressings, sweetened yogurts. So make sure that you are reading labels and that you're not filling your body with these, with processed high fructose sugars, okay? So that's step num number one. The second part of this study said that the liver mitochondria are also getting damaged from pro high processed fats. So these are in your milk, your milk, your bad milk, your pasteurized milk, your um, cereals, your breads, your cookies, your crackers. These are all of the vegetable oils, the soybean oils. We got to get the bad oils out. So get the bad sugars out, get the bad oils out so you stop damaging those mitochondria in the liver. So that's, that's step number one. Second step is alcohol. And again, I know it's like, what a bummer video that I'm giving you guys here. But when you stop and you, and you look at it, when you are giving your body alcohol, it shuts down the body. The, the liver has to decide at that moment if it's going to burn fat or it's gonna process the alcohol. So as long as the alcohol is in your system, you have shut off all of your burn fat burning capabilities. So I want you to start, when you look at alcohol, I want you to realize that it doesn't matter how many hours you fast, doesn't matter how keto you are, as long as that alcohol is in your system, your liver is gonna prioritize burning the alcohol over burning the fat. So if you're stuck, it may be time to start to give up alcohol, okay? So third thing that we know is that toxins will destroy the mitochondria in the liver. And this is everything from the toxins you'll find in artificial colorings and nitrites and red dyes that are in our processed foods to heavy metals in our environment, to even some things we've seen in my clinic a lot, like people who've been exposed to mold and that is toxic to the mitochondria in the liver and forces somebody to hold on to weight. So before I give you the steps, I want you to understand that it's a must if you're gonna lose weight for good and you're gonna heal the liver, you're gonna wanna get off the high fructose corn syrup, the saturated fats, the alcohol, and you're gonna wanna minimize toxins, bottom line, okay? So now, what if you are in that place where you're like, okay, well, I've been doing keto and fasting and I've been undoing those habits that you just said, so, but I really wanna heal my liver at a deeper level. So what can I do to heal my liver at a deeper level so that I can burn weight or burn fat easier? Okay, so again, we're back to science. So the first study I found this morning that was really interesting is exercise, but not just any type of exercise. So intensity matters. That's the first thing I'm gonna tell you. If you wanna heal your liver, I found a study where they, in Japan, they took 1,100 patients with fatty liver disease and they gave them vigorous physical activity. What they did is actually HIIT training. So hopefully you know what HIIT training is. Five cycles of high intensity training with a three minute recovery period and they did it three times a week for 12 weeks. And so, three times a week of HIIT training for 12 weeks. And what they found is it reduced the fat, the, a fatty liver situation. So, okay, let's go back to fasting and keto. So you're, you're, you wanna lose weight, you're, you're, you're stalled. My first question to you is, you know, are you avoiding those foods that I just mentioned? And are you exercising? And if you are exercising, are you doing HIIT training? where you are, you are out of breath, full on, high intensity, that's what's going to heal a fatty liver. It's gonna get the liver burning fat, your fat again. So start off there. Okay, second thing, again, I know that a lot of you guys are already doing some of this, but you know how I love to create a checklist for you. So go keto. You could, I would even put on number two here, you could go carnivore if you want. But let me tell you what the research is showing. So this was a study that was done on obese patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And they found that a um, low carbohydrate diet improved liver fat metabolism. It also shifted the gut microbiota so that it was able to uh, absorb more B vitamins from the foods that the person was eating, specifically uh, folate and B12, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, and uh, it helped with just overall gene expression of the liver, okay? So you wanna lose weight, you guys already know this, go keto, I would even say go carnivore because those ketones are gonna heal the liver. Okay, third thing, increase your folate and B12 rich foods. So let's go back to the, the study that I just told you about where going keto changes the microbiome so that you can absorb folate from your food. 
Well, what is necessary for the liver to be able to function normally is folate and B12. So here was a couple of studies that I'll put post here for you is that, and this was from one of the studies, it said the liver is the primary organ responsible for storage and metabolism of folate. And the lower the folate levels, uh, that low serum folate levels have been observed in patients with obesity and diabetes. Okay, well, so if we know that you're either a diabetic or we know that you're, you're obese and you're struggling to lose weight, why don't we lean into some of these folate rich foods? Let's bring your folate levels up. Okay, so what are some good folate rich foods that fit in a keto world? We're back at your leafy green vegetables. Um, asparagus, beets, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, nuts and seeds, avocados, even beans and citrus fruits. If you're following the diet variation plans that I teach you here, the 511 where you're doing a feast day. So make sure that you're giving your liver enough B12 and folate. B12 can be found in grass fed meat, uh, poultry, eggs. So the typical things you would find it in a ketogenic diet, but you're going to need to lean into those lists that I just mentioned a lot more so that you can raise B12, you can raise your folate levels up so that the liver works better and burns fat for you better. Okay. Now, fourth thing, castor oil packs. And I didn't, I should, I should have brought one here for this video. Castor oil packs, what we know about castor oil, and again, I'm gonna show you some studies on it, is that it really helps to improve the lymph that's flowing out of organs. So you have lymph, and I've done, I've done some videos on this, you have lymphs, it, lymph here in your neck, you've got lymph around every organ, you've got lymph in, or, uh, that is helping pull toxins out of the liver, you have lymph in your gut, and what we know about castor oil is that when you put a castor oil pack over your liver or over your gut, you open up those lymphatics so that the organ that the lymph is draining can actually drain that efficiently, okay? So something as simple as a two hour castor oil pack has found that it can produce an temporarily, temporary increase in lymphocytes that will help to drain certain organs like the liver, okay? So how cool is that? Okay. Two other things. Now, everything I just told you, I look at our science-based evidence. So we know science is proving that you gotta get off the foods I mentioned. We know exercise is showing you this. We know about the castor oil packs and the, and the folate and the B12. I wanna now talk about some evidence-based, meaning what am I seeing here in my clinic? So the first thing is I would encourage you to do a liver cleanse. So there are a lot of different kinds out there. I know a lot of you like the celery juice. If it's working for you, great. You just want to test it with your blood sugar. But I'll tell you a couple uh, uh, things that I've never actually shown on a YouTube video before. This is actually a liver cleanse that we do with our patients before we start to detox heavy metals out of them. It's called a metabolic clearing kit and it's put out by Bioenergetics. We will put a link in here. Um, this, they have a 14 and a 21 day cleanse. If you are really stuck, I highly recommend you get yourself on some type of liver cleanse that is going to open up the liver and get the, the liver healing again. So you can lean into a liver cleanse. Okay, the last step that I'll tell you is what I call biohacks that we know based off of what we see in research, but we're also seeing this in my clinic. You, you probably have places near you. Things like infrared saunas, um, red light therapy like juve light, uh, pulse uh, PEMF, we're using that a lot on liver. There's all this evidence that some of these biohacks that we now have access to can get in there and heal these organs that have been so uh, demolished by our lifestyle and are not working. Sometimes you're gonna need to go in and do some biohacks, okay? So let me put it all together for you in one, one little ni nice little bow, okay? For starters, if you want your liver to burn fat for you, you gotta stay off the foods I mentioned. Second, if you want your liver to be working for you, you need to be doing high intensity exercise and three times a week, okay? Third, if you want your liver working for you, you gotta go keto. I know you guys here on my channel are, are doing that. Four, if you want your liver to be working for you, you gotta increase the folate rich foods and the B12 foods and help get the right nutrients so the liver can do its job, okay? Five, if you want your liver working for you and burning fat, you're gonna to wanna to put a castor oil pack over it. 
And then six and seven are the biohacks. So you can lean into a liver cleanse and you can lean into some of the biohacks like infrared sauna. So give me feedback. This is a, like an, an information dense video, but I wanted to leave it here on my channel for you guys that are really coming up against some struggles with your weight loss. And I wanted you to show, to show you, I'm such a fan of the checklist mentality of, have you tried this? Have you tried that? Have you tried that? This is what we do in the metabolic reset with people is we help you create your own checklist. So put me metabolic reset in there and we'll bring you into that program because it's incredible how people unstick their weight once they have a checklist. And your checklist may be different than somebody else's checklist. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to give you a checklist that I, that is a, gets you in the ballpark, that gets you looking at how you can heal that liver so that you are able to finally burn fat again. Cause there's nothing more frustrating than go doing keto, doing fasting, hearing everybody around you have great results and you getting nothing. And there's a reason for it because your body is born in a miracle. So there is an absolute reason why that liver is not burning the fat the way it needs to be. And this video was meant to get you into the ballpark to understand that. So give me feedback. Let me know how that works. If you want any of the products I mentioned, castor oil packs, the metabolic clearing kit, just put, put that in the comments and we'll send you a link. If you want to join me in my metabolic reset, I'd love to guide you through a weight loss program that I know works in 15 days. We're seeing people drop a ton of weight. We're seeing people learn the principles so that they can start to drive their health in whatever direction they choose. Because you were born in a miracle. Your body wants to burn fat. You just need to, you need to have all those fat burning organs lined up and healthy in order for your body to do that. So give me feedback. Let me know if that's helpful. Do you like the checklist? Um, of the things I said, which one worked, has worked the best for you? Let's show it to our community. And as always, never give up on yourself. And I hope